So what's up? What's up, everyone? Mitch Max here. So that's my man, Mike Myers, in the back in case any of y'all want to act up while I'm recording this. So I want to share this, this short story with everyone. So anyway, by the way, Halloween 6, Curse of Michael Myers is one of my favorite horror movies. Anyway, this is going to be a short story, a uh, short video. Let me find, let me share my screen with you guys so you can see the nonsense that's going on out here. See, look at this story. And I'm going to drive a point home when the story is done. Woman arrested after threatening to post woman's nude photos, if not given $16,000 by uh, the police and Memphis police. So this is coming from Yahoo News and Fox 13. So a Memphis woman was arrested after threatening to post another woman's nude photos to social media if that woman and her husband didn't give her $16,000, according to the Memphis Police Department. MPD said that the 30-year-old Ashley Harper it's this psychopath right here. Ashley Harper was in an intimate relationship with another woman and that that woman told Harper that she just wanted to be friends. Harper didn't take it well and sent new photos of that woman to her and her husband, according to the police. The woman told police that Harper demanded $16,000 from the couple or else she would post the new photos on social media, according to Harper. Now, I know in cases like this, when it's happened in the past, and if it's a guy that makes these kind of threats, they're given harsh jail time. In fact, I've never seen a case where a guy had done something like this and got less than four years for that. Just the fact that she sent it to her husband should get her some time. But the lesson here I want to make clear is when it comes to affairs, I find that there's a difference between the sexes and how we handle affairs. A lot of times, if a guy's in an affair, he won't rock the boat especially if he enjoys the woman's company he loves what they have he won't do things to rock the boat if she ends the relationship he may just move on he's glad to have it or he won't do anything to try to make the make the relationship go and go south unless he's a little psycho and needy i mean we've seen that happen but in the case where if a, either a either be a woman or a man having an affair with a woman even when they know what the rules of engagement are like if someone says i'm not leaving my husband for you i'm not leaving my wife for you once they get feelings involved, they always seem to change the rules of engagement. So now because she got her feelings involved now, suddenly now she ignores the fact that she knew this woman was married and decides she wants to blackmail her and extort her. She just couldn't handle the rejection. So I don't, I don't understand this. I think it's a very immature way to engage in relationships when you know someone is married. Uh, if you guys remember, I think it was one of Obama's, uh, someone in Obama's cabinet, back in 2009 or 10, I believe, had a long-term affair with a woman that knew he was married. He told, they had a long-term affair. Like they had probably been, this affair between them had probably been going on for a good four years. And he didn't leave his wife. He told her he was not leaving his wife. It's only when she found out he had other girls beside her that she decided, she decided to spend something like $200,000 to put up billboards in Manhattan of their love life, like pictures of him holding her in her arms, uh, whatever loves, forgot his name. We'll just say Jane Doe, uh, Jane and John. John loves, loves Joe, right? I mean, John loves Jane. She put up posters of her and this man all over Manhattan. So his wife and all his, his other women and that the world can see that they were having an affair and that he was a married man. So let this be a lesson I would say to a lot of guys out there. Listen, when you have affairs, I would advise, I hate to say this, but I would always advise you're better off hiring some a professional. Why? Because all the cards are on the table. She, she's being paid to walk away. It's that kind of relationship. It's more honest than this kind of a relationship. It's way more honest because this is a dishonest relationship. You know the woman is married. She tells you that she's she's married. She's not leaving her husband. And you say, okay, in the beginning. And then when you get your feelings involved, now you change. See, that's dishonest. She probably wanted that woman all along and thought that she could turn her out. So I say to you, at least when you're dealing with a professional, she know this is her line of business. She probably has so many customers. In fact, I've seen more men develop feelings for these kind of women than the opposite. A lot of times when men are dealing with a professional, if they keep paying the same professional over and over, they tend to develop feelings for her. So, but that's still a more honest case because she knows you're married or she knows whatever the situation is, you're paying for a service. That's it. So it's like going in a restaurant. You order your McDonald's food or you go sit down at the table service restaurant, order your food, the waiter serves you, you pay at the end of the day and you leave. 
The restaurant's not going to call you anymore and say, listen, when are you going to come back to eat? Oh, um, we love your money. We want you to come. They're not going to harass you and tell you you can't net, you no longer can go to other restaurants. And by the same, uh, and by those same rules of engagement, you can't turn around to the restaurant afterwards and say, hey, I love the food. Um, I want to come back there after hours. Or I want you to make me something that's not on the menu. You have to strictly abide by that exchange. You pay in exchange for your food and for the service. It's the same way as if you're hiring a professional. I'm sorry to say that's a lot more honest. Both of you know what you want up front. You want some action. She wants your wallet. That is it. There's no lying to each other. So anyway, like this video, share and subscribe, please. And don't forget to check out my other channel, um, which is Coach Mitchell H. This one is M Mitch Max. On this channel, I just review uh, a lot of the current events, um, movies, products, and I'm going to focus on which one I'm going to narrow it down to and just focus on that. But my other channel is a financial channel because I'm a real estate investor. So I like, and I I rent uh, more to people that are in transitional housing or recovery housing and aged out um, and aged out youth demographics and um, senior living homes. All those, uh, that channel talks about how to diversify your real estate investments as a buy and hold investor. So anyway, thank you.